Test it, let this be a blessing. What's good, chat? What's good, chat? Uh, what's good, chat? I see Twaddle made it first up in the stream. Twaddle, welcome to the stream. I show, welcome to the stream. Appreciate y'all for pulling up on the scene. I know everything. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I zoom me. Welcome to the stream. Prop doctor. Welcome to the stream. What is good? What is good? What is good? Appreciate y'all for putting up in this thing early, man. We gonna start this thing off in about two minutes. So get your snacks and kick back. Four cow drawings, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you for pulling up on the scene. <laughs> what up, chat? What's good, bro? Appreciate y'all for putting up in this thing early, bro. Bro said, four cow said, hey, it's Adam. Yo, Adam, bro, where have you been? Good to see you up in the stream, bro. Yo, episode four is gonna be happening tonight, bro. I have no idea what's going to happen, bro. Oh my gosh. Twitter said, and if you're a live streaming machine, <laughs> Then this should be pretty clean. Okay, so Twato got bars. Let me find out broken rap. <laughs> Yo, big shout out to the people, man, that's been keeping up with the episodes for uh, The Walking Dead. Bro, this game has been intense from start to finish, bro. Well, episode four, I don't know what to expect at this point. I don't know what could happen. We're gonna see some craziness, man. I zoom in. Said, why y'all doing this? I'm gonna be playing Dark Deception on my new computer. Dope! Dark Deception is a fire game, too. I rock with it. I rock with it, bro. Test it, test it. Let this be a blessing. <laughs> what is good? It's Taz Token of tonight. We diving into the Walking Dead episode four, bro. We finna go straight into the gameplay. Man, look, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's gonna happen at this point. We just seen, we just seen it all. Do you hear me, bro? Like, I don't, I'm lost for words at this point. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. We already lost a good friend of ours by the name of Duck. You know what I'm saying? Kenny's son, Cat, and Kenny's son. Rest in peace to Duck. Bro, Lily the messed around and shot Doug. And we had to leave Lily on the road. Like, she wasn't going to get back into the bus with us. Are you crazy, bro? Man, bro, I'm hyped to see this, man. Let's go ahead and tap in. I should say token loss for words. Facts. Like, I don't know what is going to happen at this point, bro. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm really not ready for this, bro. But as you can see, chat, yo, we did start streaming a little earlier than expected. Because the reason being is because usually these episodes do run about two hours, two and a half, maybe three hours, which is way surpassed my stream time. So I definitely wanted to stream a little earlier just so that we can have, you know, a good amount of time for people to watch the stream. Because I know some people got to leave early because they got to go to school and they got to get ready for bed or whatever. So let's get it. Proud to say we lost four people last episode. Four people, bro. Hold on. Let me think about this. Lily. Doug. That's it. I don't. I can't think of who are the other two, bro. <laughs> Unless my mind is tripping. I'm trying to think who's the other people. Oh my gosh, Pro It's gonna come to me, bro, in a minute. I know it is. All right, let's do this. going to happen bro oh duh previously on the walking dead 
I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Oh man, we had to take out Doug. Find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, right here. Who the fuck? I, I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. I forgot all about that walkie-talkie, bro. I don't know what's gonna happen, bro. Whoever's on the other end of that walkie-talkie is dirty. All right, chat, let's immerse. Hit the like button if y'all haven't already. Let's get to it. Okay, looks like we made it to Savannah. happen now that we haven't seen already chat can't I just hold it just for a little while mm. we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are maybe I can not now Clementine maybe later okay okay how's Omid his legs pretty bad I'm fine you're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Um. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Y'all show us putting a lot of trust in Kenny. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What? What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Nah, that's an alarm. Someone's up there! Yup. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Somebody's alerting. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Oh, this is not good, Chad. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this, bro. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Yo, Kenny, relax, bro. It that tolls for thee. That bell alert. Oh my gosh. You can't be for real, bro. They trapped us. Whoever did that trapped us, bro. We gotta get out of here. Everybody, run! Y'all not running. 
Come on, Clem. Oh my gosh. Kitty! Little too close. I got you, bro. What you think? Ben! No, Ben! Help her! What? Ben, do something! Oh my gosh! God damn it! River oh Street's right gosh. up ahead. That's not all. I'll oh, give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh no, we gotta help Chuck, fam. Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. Nah, we helping Chuck, bro. You tripping? Yo, chat, off rip, You're Ben kidding? is trash. Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. Yo, I lost complete respect for Ben. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Dude is trash in my book, fam. Straight trash. I can't trust bro never again, my boy. He's out. He's gone to the wolves. You hear me? Bro just left Clem surrounded by zombies. Are you crazy, bro? Are you for real, bro? Probably gotta say, guys, I swear Ben makes a comeback. Nah, fam. Ain't, no, no, ain't no comeback from that, bro. Bro, straight dookie in my book, bro. I, I'm not rocking with bro, bro. He out, bro. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Alter, welcome to the stream, bro. <laughs> My bad. Dead people saw us come back here. Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Mm. Just stay away from the gate. <laughs> we'll see about getting us inside the house. Probably said Roro. I mean, uh, Luke said Roro. Prop said Taz just let him cook. You gotta trust me. So you want me to let the same person cook that left a stash of meds and supplies for the bandits behind our ter uh, our territory? You want me to let the same person cook that just left Clementine surrounded by zombies? You want me to let him cook the same person that lied to the whole squad saying he wasn't helping the bandits? Bro, stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> Like, nah, bro. I can't rock with it, bro. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Hey. How you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. 
Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Luke said, don't let Clementine near them two Taz. She's too much of an angel to associate with those stuff. <laughs> Facts, bro. She is the purest one out of the group. You know what I'm saying? Probably ought to say he's trying his best. Fam. Be able to bust through that. If this is his best, I don't even want to know what his worst is like. Twato said, yeah, yeah Alta Astro. He. That. Oh, Astro said, let him cook. I don't know what you're talking about. I just showed up. What's good, Astro? We talking about how terrible of a teammate Ben is, to say the least. Do I need to talk to them? Let me see. Will we be inside soon? Yeah. yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. What you want to talk about, Krista? How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood. And God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be... No oh, offense, you is a... You really need to work on your bedside manner. You is one of them people that just think the worst of everything. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. Ma'am. on it. Sit tight. Dang, ain't nobody even Don't talking to you. <laughs> Krista, who hey, who made Krista the mama out the group? Like, we that's the last thing we need is somebody trying to be mother in here, bro. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Why not why not? Ben, what's up, bro? Ben. I, I can't resist. I gotta what ask. Happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Say less. You feel me, Chad? Bro, bro is not taking it lightly, you okay? You can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah. Looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Thanks. I'm going to go check things out. All right. Okay, look, let's go ahead and try to find this opening. Yo, Prop, you got any ideas, bro? Let me know. I do see a, uh, a dog door, but... What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. Clementine. It already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Mm. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right. So, where's the dog? Say less, no stress. Yo, Kenny is not cool with Ben at all, fam. I'm sure you guys can sense that. I don't want to mess with this person, Grave. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Did the dog die? Is it here? Hold on, let me see. Looks like something was buried here. Oh, it's... Man, where is this mutt? Thirsty enough to drink that yet. Okay. Oh, I need that. I need that. The shovel is never not useful. Okay, so I got a shovel, so I'm assuming. Bro, don't tell me I got a. Oh, fam. I got to disturb somebody. Grave chat. I'm not finna do this, bro. I hope this is not a human, bro. Looks like something was buried here. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Facts. Yeah, I hear you. Clem! What's buried down there? Clem, go play! <laughs> oh. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You... That's a dog. You smell it from here. 
Yeah, it's Rose. gotta be the dog. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Thank you. About time you want to do something right. <laughs> oh God, the smell. Oh, fam. And when I said it, I was talking about Krista. I wasn't talking about Clem. Clem is uh, Clem is a dub in my book. I'm not rocking with Krista yet. Oh man. Okay, that is not cool. <coughs> Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you <sighs> Chat? For the ones that missed it, I don't know if you did. If you did, uh I'm gonna let you know. Krista just threw up after she smelt that smell of the dog corpse. And she is very sensitive to that smell. Could it possibly mean that Krista may be pregnant? I think so, but we're gonna find out. Said I'm fine, okay? I think so, bro. Ah oh man, this that's gonna be tough. Do I can I pick this up again? Oh, it won't let me. Wow. Okay. That anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. But you can still use that as a as a weapon, though. What you mean? Twaddle said, "I p personally, I would have puked because of the sight." <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was a terrible sight, bro. No lie. But but let's see what's inside, shall we? Teach reset. Hmm. Nothing. Yes. God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Why is it so close? Do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> Clementine. So I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. No, fam. Thank you, Clem. Clem, what do you see in there? She good? Yeah, trust in Clem. Ta da! Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Oh, this dude on me. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Chase Pierce, what's good, my boy? Good to see you up in the stream, bro. Where you been? <laughs> Cuh, what's good, cuh? Good to see you, bro. Hey, kick it in the stream for a little bit. All right, let's see Mirza. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Oh, they, they a thing. I didn't know that. I'm just now finding so. When were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well? I didn't see the point in worrying anyone. Not until I figured out who it was. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. I don't care! Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. Facts. Like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What if they're the same guy? That doesn't make any damn sense. If it was the same guy, why would he warn us? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. 
But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? I mean, she got a point. Uh, we need to find Chuck. No, let's... I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and old meat's feeling better. Facts. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Chad. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Chad, I'm getting that. Is there anything I can do? Thanks. I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going What's wrong, sweetie? Like that without checking first? Ah, oh, it's okay. Pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Yo, first off, I definitely want to say I'm getting Lily vibes from Krista. Like, I'm really the more she talked, the less I like her. I don't know what is going on, and I know she's coming from a sense of nurturing. Like, she cares. But I'm like, ma'am, you just got here. You gotta, you gotta warm up to us first before you try to delegate and and just throw your suggestions around. Like, <laughs> like, ma'am, I get it. You're not, you don't feel safe, and you just met us, so of course you're not gonna feel safe regardless. You gotta, you gotta warm up to us. Give us some time. You know what I mean? Prop said, Taz, you need to get in good with everyone. There's no time to have rivalries. Ah. Uh, good point i just don't know who i have a rivalry with because i know me and kenny good krista she all right she all right bro she all right i'm not that hungry signs i need to finish checking the downstairs okay Cuz say yo Taz, what is the Discord Discord link? Yo, Mize, can one of y'all drop the Discord link, my boy? Appreciate you. Um, Nightbot, I think he just recently dropped it too, so you can click the link. Um, it says Nightbot said join Discord server, almost two hundred members. I think that's yeah, that's the link for sure. Rennie, what's good, Rennie? Good to see you up in the stream. Ain't the power on? There's no power in the microwave. Bro, looking sad out here. Long time no see, Rennie. Hey, kick it a while. This game's crazy. All cleaned out. Nothing in here, bro. I bet. Can I go out here? No, that's that. That's just where I came from. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Whoever cleared this place oh, out. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry, chat. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Okay. Chase Bay said, are you beating every walking dead? Yes, that is the plan. As far as my um my YouTube journey, like I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna do like seasons back to back. I'm gonna try to beat one season, air it out a little bit, you know, play some other games and stuff, and then we're gonna pull up with season two. But best believe we're definitely gonna take out um the walking dead. If not all a lot of the walking dead episodes. Shout out to Prop Doctor. Must have stopped working a while ago. How's it coming? Actually, we're going to take care of all of them. 
Actually, we're going we gonna to take care of all of them. I got I to gotta fulfill my uh, part of the agreement with Prop. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Oh, that was a waste of time. All right. Twato said, can you only do season one, two, three, and four? This side season seem kind of boring. Oh, I get what you mean. Like the, um, I get what you mean. Well, I definitely did plan on taking care of uh, one, two, three, and four. That's what the ones, those are the ones Prop gifted me with, if I remember right. I don't think he gifted me any side seasons, so I don't think we're going to do those. Not exactly my style. It's Rennie said your subscriber count has gone up so much over time. Thanks, Rennie. I know it's been. I've been trying to be, you know, consistent with it. You know, I love this stuff. You feel me? Ain't nothing All in here. In here. <laughs> Just one more to check. Fail. At least let it be some loot. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Sweet. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. <sighs> Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? <sighs> Go ahead, Clem. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. Okay. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? And what's his name? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Uh, Lee, you uh -oh. need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Uh, what's wrong with Kenny? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Oh, fam, this not good. Yo, I see we got 10 people watching, man. Hit that like button, hit that like button. Appreciate you. <laughs> Let's get those likes up. Yo, how many likes we got, chat? Kenny, please don't be... Please Kenny? don't be body, bro. Please be alive. Oh, he's breaking down. Oh, man. Kenny. You okay, man? Not at all. He's breaking down. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. <gasps> Bro! like duck don't he i thought that was he's duck just a kid. it's not okay what the hell happened to him ain't nothing on him guess he must have been 
Hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Oh, no! Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just... Oh, God. Oh, man. This is a lot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Chad. And it's up to me to give him the firearm. Oh, fam. Kenny, this, this is going to help you build strength, bro, with what you're going through. Lee's right. Oh. Here. This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. <sighs> yes, you can, bro. You got this. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. Yes, sir. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> Chad, this ain't easy. <laughs> oh, fail. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Oh man, bro. Lee, you got you got guts, fam. Hello. Hey, so I'm looking at the chat, right? I see everybody in here going crazy, right? Like Astro saying, why do y'all do this to me? <laughs> Astro said, I blame prop as well, right? Everybody tweaking. And then next thing I see is Luke saying, it ain't even that bad. I got a Glock in the car. Like, I got a Glock in my Rari. It's crazy. <laughs> like, right? Bro say, bro, ain't nothing wrong with this. I see this all the time. <laughs> I I know what we gotta do, bro. We gotta get a zombie a, a proper burial, my boy. Next to the dog, though, you couldn't just took the dog out the ground first. Like he can't have his own grave. Am I am I the only one that's like, bro, for real? <laughs> All right. Anyway, come on. This is sad, bro. I'm trying to make light of the situation, you know, maybe add a little humor, but this is sad. No cap, bro. Come on, Lee, do your thing, bro. Give me the puppy dog eyes. Oh, Clem. <laughs> Clem. Don't do me like that. I don't even want to play no more, bro. I don't want to play no more, bro. Chad. Chad, did y'all see that, bro? Oh, like, why did she do that?
Whoa. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No. Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far mm, now. I'm not feeling Maybe that. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. I'm not feeling that. Uh... Clem, honey, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it's, you it's just did. this once. I did. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I think I made the right decision for So you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Man, I don't care about you, Ben! Yeah, no offense, bro. Uh keep an eye on me. Stay and protect Clementine. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot him. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. I got a bad feeling about that, bro. Ben is down to shoot walkers, but he ain't down to shoot ops. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about that, bro. Charlie, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Where have you been, Charlie? <laughs> the show is quiet. Talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's right up ahead. Let's keep it pushing, then. You don't want to talk about it, I right, Bet. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's going to get the dead moving over there. So move out the way. Good job. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. 
I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Kenny. At least it shows that you're feeling better. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's no boat. There's gotta be a boat. There's, There's no be. boat? Are you sure about that? What? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... So you gonna swim? That's what you doing, bro? This one might still be salvageable. I don't think we have time to... Seriously? I don't think we have time. Better fucking idea. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. All right. I don't think we should split up too far. Lee, we ain't got nothing else to, to do. See bro. that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Like, I get it. I know Kenny's trying to keep hope alive, but it's like we're running out of options here, bro. We are for real running out of options. Let me see what's over here first before I head over there to the uh, to the scope. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Let's see what's up. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. An abandoned newsstand. Okay. What's this mark on this wood? What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. A -H -A -T what? What kind of gang related? <gasps> Oh man! What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? I'll do something like this. Oh, this is terrible, bro. I'm not finna shoot them, and and then and then they're going to bring more. I'm not finna do that. Okay, let's get out of here, bro. Oh, okay. Let me look over here, and then we're going to go um, look at this scope real quick. I just want to make sure I ain't missing no details. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Military tags? D-O-F. Military tags, but what do they mean? I don't know what that is, bro. Anybody got some ideas, bro? Okay, I think that's it. Let's go ahead to that scope. Barricade. Great. Needs a quarter to work. You won't have a quarter? You ain't got no more of that change from Larry, bro. I know he had 66 cents, didn't he? Not exactly a welcome banner. Let me ask Kenny and see if he got some money. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Now I gotta look on the ground. 
This is insane, bro. What are the odds of me finding a quarter or a coin on the ground right now? Let me check this truck. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Ooh, what's up? Oh, the newspaper machine. Locked. Of course. Bust it open. Pause. That's what I'm talking about, Lee. We gonna make a way, you feel me? What's up with the boat? You can't fix it, it right? It ain't gonna work. Told you. Hulls cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Let's take a look. Okay, that's the docks. Ain't no boats here. Oh, yeah, docks. No boats. Ah, I see a boat further ahead. First, let me look up on this side. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Okay. All right. What the hell? What? Get down. Get down. Is this a freelancer? Why the hell are we hiding? Like a lone Someone wolf? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're going to talk. Oh, fam. Kenny, don't do anything stupid, bro. Just chill, just chill. What? what the? No! Clem! Clem? Please don't hurt him! from Crawford. Mm. Have you been following us? Following you? Kenny, don't! Kenny, you did all that talk. You did all that talk and got folded in five seconds. I can't believe you, bruh. 
No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? This is awkward. I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yes. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. Mm. So how'd you know we weren't them? Got you. Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. That's crazy. Do you know who's been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I've been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well... Whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas. Okay, geeks. that makes sense. Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Oh, Mead started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. Mm. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. No, nah, that's no. Nah. Uh huh. I think she would have got you, my boy. <laughs> what do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. I can't believe this. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed. Oh, that's a drain sad. on their precious resources. That is sad. How do you know all of this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Be nice to Clem, bro. Look, I'm gonna ask oh, you she you is know. upset. So who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. 
Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... No right. way! Oh my god. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Molly, is there a... <laughs> Molly ain't playing no games. Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the wow. hell are you supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please. Come on. Come on, make it fast. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Coming back, Clem. No! Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. Can't get it open. Come on, Lee. Come on. Here, come. use that to pry it open. Oh my gosh! to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit, this is crazy. I'm by myself. Oh my gosh. Is there a weapon over here? Nothing. Oh, this is insane, bro. I haven't been so I haven't been solo like this since the first episode. No way I can pry that open. Smell like boo boo and elbow. Elbows up in this place. Armpits up in this place. A dead rat? Why do I want to pick that up? Half-eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Can I collect it? For bait? I ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god-awful disease. Man, I don't blame you, Lee. Alright, come on, let's keep rolling, bro. Oh my gosh. There's a passageway. A pipe. It's a drainage pipe. <sighs> I'm not going that way. I'm definitely not going that way. I gotta sneak past these things, bruh. You tripping. Be the way out. There's no way I can take on all of those things by myself. What? Uh 
Lee, we gotta go back to them dead rats, bro. I'm sorry, we're not finna go head up against them. Are you crazy, bro? Gotta be careful down here. I can't pick them up. I need some bait, man. Lucky Games, what's good, bro? Good to see you, bro. Bro, say eat the rats free protein and nutrition. You tripping. As soon as I take a bite out that rat, I'm full fledged zombie, bro. It's GG. Okay, so where am I supposed to? Chat, I can't get through this. Oh. Okay. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. So if I turn it, what will happen? Nice. Okay. What will happen if I turn this pipe? I don't like this. way oh bro I don't know about this bro <laughs> Which way? Like, what does this mean, bro? Okay, I think I know what to do with this valve. I just don't want the zombies to sneak up on me, fam. That's the last thing I want to happen. Do I turn it left? Don't turn anymore in that direction. No way. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Say less. Yes, sir. Is that all of them? Yup, yup, yup. Oh my God! No! Chuck, he must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Oh, Chuck didn't make it, bro. Bullets. 
else to save the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. believe I just did that. It's time to go. Those bars are way too solid. No prize bars like this. Fail. No way I can pick that up on my own. Come on. We got this, Lee. Stay focused, bro. Stay focused. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. This is a lot of loot. What? What did I just walk are you? into? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're dead. No he's way! You're from Crawford? They don't lie to me. Not at all. I know. Where else can he be from? I just came to Everyone buy some sugar. Is dead. I think you better start talking. Came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. I just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone Are you Crawford for ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Vernon, don't be Damn stupid, it. bro. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. I can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. No way! Oh my god! Chad, I was trying to do this with zero deaths, bro. And this dude shot. Li I can't believe this, bro. I thought if I would have reached for this gun, he was going to shoot. But I chose not to reach for the gun and he shot He shot Lee. I can't believe this, bro. Well, there goes my zero death challenge for today. I already know who my enemy is. Who are you? And it ain't him. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. 
He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. Came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. You just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Chad, hold on, man. Let me pause this for a second, man. I think I think we need to, I need to talk about something real quick. And I'm saying this in a joking sense. Why is the women in this game crazy? And I'm not sexist. I'm not red pilling. I'm not nothing, bro. Facts. Lily, crazy. Krista, kind of crazy. Molly, crazy. Her, crazy. Like, I'm not lying. Why is these women in this thing? It's crazy. The only one that was really sane was Kat. And Carly, that was it, bro. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them. And I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Man, you ain't finna shoot me. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Shut up! Relax. <laughs> I'm not here to hurt you. I mean no harm. <laughs> you're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well... We are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. Hold we're on. All members <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry, I had me to stop this. I'm trying to immerse, but I see... I see Alta, a.k.a. Luke Entertainment, saying, Taz, I will support your actions to the end of time. Whatever you say is a blessing, Taz. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Bro, you got jokes. There's <laughs> a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Ma'am! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. <laughs> I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, she's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Vern, what the hell are you doing? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. I mean... Lee, Lee's being honest. It's pretty much his daughter at this point, bro. Probably out to say breaking news. YouTube streamer Taz Token recently discovered sexist comments. <laughs> Chad, I am not sexist, bro. At all. <laughs> Clementine? Clem?
Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Hey, watch your mouth. Fossil. Watch your mouth, bro. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. I don't like Molly, bro. But she can fight. I give her that. She Lee, can fight. Thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Oh, we have no. a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? Where Clem at? Help us. <laughs> oh, please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? You right. I'm gonna let you do you, Doc. Clementine. Clementine? Oh, I'm not trying to play hide and go seek with Clementine, bro. <laughs> Astro said, speaking from personal experience, Taz on stream is accurate, but outside of stream, he's 100% not accurate. <laughs> You know what, Astro? You might be right. <laughs> you in here? Where is she? You might be right. <laughs> Clementine? Oh, bro, I'm not trying to play hide and go seek right now. Like, I just literally got back into safety. I know Lee need a whole shower. Like, bro, need to go wash under everything. Clementine, you here? He need to watch under anything and everything. This is the bathroom. This is exactly where you need to go. Go and hit that shower, my boy. Clem? Ain't got time for that. Nah, you got time to wash. Nah, I feel you. You got to find Clem. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, <sighs> do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? For real! Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Say, she didn't have to say all of that, bro. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Why she got to throw all this attitude for it? I'm just simply just trying to find my daughter. Like, that's crazy. Molly is crazy, bro. <laughs> Man, I'm going to go downstairs. What's these boxes? I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Okay. I know you did not just say what I Clem? what I just saw. Clementine. Clementine, come out, please. Okay, I'm downstairs. Is she in here? No, it's nothing in here. Kenny. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. 
First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Kenny. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. Kenny's losing no it. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Nah, bro, you gotta be focused right now. Kenny, you losing it, man. Benny ain't even tw Ben ain't even 21 yet. <laughs> Clementine, where are you? Ben, you was supposed Ben was supposed to protect Clem, like I Have either of you seen Clementine. Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. One Take job! Care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own, with no one watching her? Uh, Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Prop, prop doctor, listen to me good. I'm never trusting Ben again, bro. It's over with. It's over with, bro. He had one job and pooped it, bro. What the hell happened back here? Can I pick that? No. <laughs> Prop said he said my whole name. I am upset, fam. Ben is cannot be trusted, fam. It's over with. in there exploring and look look what I found a boat a boat <laughs> let's go Cliff whoa I know right I don't even know what to say about Kenny, bro. You lost all hope, didn't you, Kenny? And look, we found it. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, oh, I... Oh, man. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? 
You want the good news or the bad news? The good news, bro. I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taken us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Crawford? We should go back out on the street and no, see what we No, not Crawford. Crawford. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Are Trust you serious? You don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Mm. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. It worked out. I think out. I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. Molly. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my mm. people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So... It's decided, then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight. Under cover of dark, I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Yes, sir. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford... Uh... No, don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I, I couldn't, I couldn't answer that. Can't I come with you? Oh my gosh. Uh Come on. Yeah, come on, you can come. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm going to go get ready. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh! I got a bad feeling about this, bro. I hope this was a good choice. Oh, y'all going crazy in the chat. Bring Clem, bring... 
Y'all wanted me to bring her? I ain't been. <laughs> Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? Not that many people. So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Yep. A boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Oh, even with man. one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. Yeah, no no way. way! I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... You brought her you know, back! This, this out of all people! Man, we don't need her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Help us. How? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Chad, this is going to be crazy. I, I, I can already tell. Hold if it up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. I don't know. I think bringing Clem was a great idea. If she can soften up Molly to to save Lee. Is. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Yes, sir. And that part about staying close. That goes double for you. I really think that since she softened up Molly and she didn't choose to hurt Lee, I think uh, I think Clem is going to come in handy later just in case we get caught. I hope we don't get caught. I don't know what to expect, bro. Let's go. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Okay, chill, chill. What the fuck? Whoa! That was a walker. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! No way. I don't think so. 
I think we're good, for now at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Bill, why are you even talking? And get the hell out of here. Come on. I think I know which way to head. Bear, you I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this too now. All of a sudden, bro. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Ah, oh, don't tell me I gotta figure this out, bro. Here. Oh, okay. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Herman's. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Nurse's station maintenance. How do you know that? And in Herman's. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Whoa! I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've mm. got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I you need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> leaving me with Ben? That side I'm eye. With Ben? I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. <laughs> Come
Clem is definitely smarter than she looks, bro. <laughs> so according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Okay, so... Alright, so we're here. Fire escape. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Okay. Whoops. Let's head towards the fire escape. Can't go this way, huh? Principles of Crawford. All illness and medical conditions must be disclosed to the council. Children under 14 not admitted without authorization. Anyone asked to leave with Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. Therefore, looting within the district would not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. Okay, gotcha. I would just want to read the lore a little bit and see what's up. Welcome to the Queens of... Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. I have to say, when you're like 18 and you need an 8-year-old to take care of you, that's wild. No, facts. That That's pretty crazy. That's pretty insane. That lets you know what, like, uh, where you stand amongst the group. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Hey, shut up. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Empty. Bathroom? Let me see what's in here. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. Lee, you need a shower. I don't know what you talking about. Shell casings. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Shell casings. Bloody locker. Can't open it without the combination. Yo, Nicholas, what's good, my boy? Good to see you up in the stream. Wait. Ooh, don't want no parts. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not losing anything. Yep, vending machine. What's in here? I think it's empty. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. All right, I'm done. Let's go. Must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Molly can't be trusted at all, bro. Auto shop must be down this way. What's over here? Okay, nothing. I'm so nosy, bro. I gotta hit every angle. Pause. That sounded crazy. But y'all get y'all get the idea of what I'm trying to say, bro. Bro, somebody was just behind me. I'm, no, I'm not tripping. I just saw a shadow just. F okay, whatever. Door, it's too quiet, bro. 
Why would Molly leave me out like this, bro? Like, why would she leave me hanging like this, bro? Damn, it's jammed tight. Okay. Let me see. Uh. What? Leave him. He's mine. What? What were you doing up there? Dang! Molly? Ah! Molly! What? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. <laughs> okay, do your He's thing. medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah. Good job. Work. Okay, Molly, you got to defend me while I set this up, bro. This is not good, bro. Get up out of here. No way that thing's still alive. Come on, game. <laughs> Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay, I need a battery ASAP. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. All right. What's up with this car? Can we take this? Can we put this down? I can't reach it up there. Yeah, I need to put this jack down. Hydraulic holes. Lift panel. Here we go. No power. Are you kidding me? Are you serious, bro? More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Okay, so how am I supposed to turn this on, bro? It's locked. No way in. Yo, Purple Cat, what's good, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. Purple Cat, you know which part we on, bro? Let me know in the chat. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. How do I? Something you need? Uh, I don't even want to talk to her, but why not? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. So why did you decide to help us? I told you, I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? Say less. Let's roll. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. 
your uh purple cat said you're on the uh crawford one where you're in crawford <laughs> yes bro yo gore box welcome to the stream my man so how am i supposed to take care of this though looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics don't think i can pry that hose apart with just my hands maybe if i had something to cut it with oh molly got what i need my let me hold your weapon something you need yes think i can borrow that uh hook thing of yours i don't know hilda and i have been through a lot together hilda that's what i call her don't judge please can i borrow hilda I'll take good care of her. <laughs> she won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Okay, I think she's a little too attached for this weapon, my boy. I did it. Whoa, whoa! Can't no shit. It is. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Okay. Uh. It's still attached to the terminals. Uh. It's still attached to the terminals. It's still attached to the terminals. Take it off. What you mean? Got that one off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Bro. Move your ass. Come on, Lee. Molly, help me up. That was crazy. I didn't know what was going to happen. Now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Molly, what's your problem? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump. It's easy for you to say, like, I'm so glad I made that jump chat. I thought it was going to be GG, bro. No lie, bro. <laughs> Come on. Later. Something I got to do first. What? Catch you later. What? Wait, you still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. Oh, my God. See you God. back in class. Molly. God damn it. What the hell is she doing? That was the whole point of us going out there, bro, to the auto shop was to get the battery. And now she's going to leave with it? I can't believe this, bro. I pretty much just did all of that and came back empty-handed. Little help! Little help here! <laughs> Fuck, the doors won't close all the way! Please do something! I'm trying! Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> that hold damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. That's 
not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me <laughs> give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Uh, yeah, Molly has it. Yeah. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. I don't trust Molly at all, bro. Like, how do I not know Molly is not working for the people in Crawford? Like, the owners of Crawford. Like, maybe the reason why she was scouting and looking for things all over the city was to get a battery. Like, how do I not know she's not going to... How do I know for a fact she's going to come back? This is crazy. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> no, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Oh my god. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? Ben! It's my fault. Let it go! If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Uh... I don't have time. Ben, I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. That was probably the best advice I could give Ben, bro. Larry is definitely not... I mean, excuse me, not Larry. Kenny is definitely not the, pers not the person you want to talk to about him losing his wife and son and you be the uh the reason for it like bro is not trying to hear that bro. any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat tv no power no tv okay let's see what's up with krista i know she where he's sick bro oh krista hasn't came back yet she's still looking for the medicine i forgot about that Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Uh... What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, that's however crazy. Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. You know, her accent, she reminds me, uh, she kind of reminds me like she gives me New Orleans vibe like she's from Louisiana. I could be wrong, but she do sound like she's from New Orleans, uh, from Louisiana. How long have you known Vernon? How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Mm. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. 
funny how things work out, huh? That is tough. That's I'm heavy. Here, Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I'm finna go see what's up with Krista. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Okay. So. Alleyway. Yeah, we need to go to the nurses. Okay, let's go. I think this way is to the nurses station if I'm if I remember correctly. Probably Dr. Sataz, you need to go to the nurse's office. Yes, sir. I shoot something to there's no way my gun is gonna take care of all of them that's insane let's be smart about this Chad I don't think this is a good idea bro if I pull that trigger all of them is gonna come my way This is the only thing I could. This is the only option they gave me. Ooh, we cooking. Lee went crazy. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Hmm. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Okay, just trying to help. Sonogram. Safe. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. <sighs> She's panicking. Okay. Papers, phone, medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? What's the tape for? Okay, so phone. Vernon, what's up? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. 
Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Man, I'm rocking with Doc, bro. I hope he survive. I just got a bad feeling, bro. I don't know. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. What? what? Tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll no make the procedure way. easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. That is tough, bro. That's crazy. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I oh recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. That was the zombie that Molly was uh overkilling, bro. I remember that. That's why she was going crazy on that zombie. I gotta go back over there. So how am I gonna? Ah, uh, here we go. I hope. Hopefully, I got enough ammo for this. Prop said, wait, Taz needs to read chat. Read what? <laughs> Taz of her token is crazy, bro. That ain't the one. <laughs> okay, I can't leave now. This is where we was at. And then I climbed up here, right? <laughs> okay, where's that doctor with the... There he is. There he is. There he is. Okay. Let's do what we came to do, bro. Oh, 
Okay, pocket. Eight two oh this might six. Be just what we need. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh no. Shit, time to go. Okay, let's head back. found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. Man. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, bro. This is crazy. Oh, fell. I saw him put the code in, but I couldn't catch it. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. She's pregnant. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. She she's pregnant. I I think she is. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. All right, let's go. Now, I keep hearing I keep seeing in the chat go check the locker. That's what we about to do. Let's open this locker, shall we? Logan, this must have been his locker. A videotape? Mmm. Another videotape. Okay, let's see what's up. Prop said, also read chat. Oh my lord. I am reading chat, bro. <laughs> Astro said, open the locker. <laughs> Let's see what's up in this tape. What he just zip his pants? Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. Mm. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? 
That's why she attacked him, bro. Yes, sir. Well, shit. And she took that battery and took off, too. She not coming back, bro. She not coming back. It's a wrap. I hope she come back. <laughs> I really do. So now we know what was the issue with uh, Molly and the doctor. That's crazy. So she did whatever she could to save her sister. Jesus Christ. Oh, and look Shit. who showed up. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. No way. No way. I'm just kidding. Here you go. She played too much. What's that? Nothing. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. Hey, from what I've heard, you're not real big on the truth yourself. Besides, I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. Wow! She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Ah, uh, okay. I kept okay. it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. I kind of trust her. I trust her a little bit. Chip, sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those. Where is Cleo? Coming. <laughs> Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. <gasps> uh, no way. Where did you get that? No way. He took that from it. the door. It was stuck in the door uh, handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh. <sighs> Shit. Let's go, Molly. Please shoot this fucker. Thanks. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Clear. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Ben, don't! I'm so sorry. No! So no! Sorry. No! 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 I can't do it, bro. 
I can't do it, bro. I can't do this, bro. This is too much, man. Like, Ben is really, really, really bad right now. He's being very, very terrible right now. This is not the time for you to be honest and tell that you is the reason why Kenny wife and his son is killed I, I this is the, this is insane what benny's doing bro i can't believe this bro kid this ain't the best time whatever you did save it for later i open the door Got them in. Ben, shut the fuck up fuck you lee i can't do this anymore it's been me all along putting all of us in danger katja and duck it was all me it was all me wait a minute what are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. Right now, we gotta go! <laughs> nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Mmm. Of course you do, sweetheart. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. Cleo! <laughs> That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh no! Oh no! Chat, I think something bad just happened, but what I want to tell you guys, the reason why I voted to keep Ben is because of Clem. I gotta be a great example for Clem. Okay, Clem is watching and then absorbing everything. So I do not want this to be in a, I don't want Clem to be in a situation to where if she had to vote and she follow my footsteps as Lee and chooses to kick him out. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it, bro. I see I'm hitting the wrong. <laughs> Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh, close the door. Close it. Close it. Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Keep moving, bro. Keep moving, Lee. Keep moving, Lee. What? Bro, I 
pulled the trigger. How is he? Select your leg to free it. Look up to fight off walkers. Fam, I pulled the trigger. How did he not get, bro? How did he not get hit by that? Oh my God. Okay, hold on, bro. Sir. Uh-huh. I see you, Lee. Yo, Lee is going crazy. No! Oh! Lee going crazy. Come on. It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer when we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Okay. Oh, me. <sighs> Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just to get away from him. No. Uh, oh. Oh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Whatever, Kenny. Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. 
Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. What you got, Doc? Oh yeah, we first and foremost we gotta pay pay our condolences, bro. Yes, About what happened to Bree. Please save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now, just hold on a I don't understand. Man. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not going to make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm going to make you an offer. What kind of an What? Offer. I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. You crazy! Well, well, supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Nah. Be safe. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her, and if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. Say, bro. Keep girls in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. I got nothing to say. Doc was talking crazy, bro. Like, I hear what he's saying as far as the message, but his delivery on that was wild, bro. He's worried about the little girl, too, but... She got to know how to survive. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Uh, nah, she should come with us. She's, she's what are helpful. What talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. I thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? Wow. I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Oh, Listen, she's leaving for I'm real. I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And I was starting to like Molly, bro. Once she opened up, that's crazy. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? <sighs> Someplace else. Someplace else. Someplace better. Graham, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. He's been through a lot. Well, he's been through a lot, Graham. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe.
Oh, man. This is tough, bro. Clementine? Clementine? Where did she go? Where is everybody? Clementine? Clementine! Is he dreaming or did everybody leave him for real? Oh, God. What? out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the uh, hell is going on whose blood is that it's a walker's fucker jumped me from behind so where's clementine clementine's gone i found her hat and her radio on the ground out here that's all i found there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. <sighs> Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. Lee, man. Are you sure that's how you want to do this? I'm sure. This is on me and no one else. Thanks for understanding. It's better this way. We'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure we can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Good luck, Lee. I mean that. Yeah, man. Good luck. You too. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this, bro. I can't believe this, bro. I can't believe this, bro. I, I'm so lost for words. I can't. Are they? Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Whew. Uh. 
Oh, fam. Lee, I'm so sorry, fam. I can't believe Lee got bit out of some random stuff. Like, he was reaching for the walkie-talkie, bro, and got bit. Like, what? That's how Lee goes out on this game? I can't believe this, bro. Prop said, Taz, you just picked the two worst options in my opinion. I really don't care, bro. I really don't care, bro. Damn, son of a bitch. Cody. Where have you taken her? This is Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. This was insane, bro. All right, so let's do the recap real quick. The boy in the attic. You and 25% of players did not kill him. Oh, the boy in the attic. Yeah, Kenny. I thought it was best for Kenny to do it. So majority of the votes, they wanted him to do it? Mm, that's interesting. Uh, this one's called, next one's called Hippocrat Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie to, to or threaten Vernon? You and 33% of players threatened or lied to him. Okay. <laughs> okay, Home Alone. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 73% of players brought her. Okay, nice. For whom the bell tolls. Did you let Ben fall to the death? You and 66... Oh, okay, 66% of players pulled him up. And the bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 19% of players hit the bite. I wanted to hide that bite immediately because i didn't want them to trip i did not want them to panic and the way larry moves i mean kenny moves i didn't know what he was gonna do bro i thought i thought kenny was gonna try to put me at put lee out of his misery fam i can't believe this so you mean to tell me the same guy that's just been going through these different obstacles He's been saving Clem all the way up to episode four, and he gets bit by a zombie reaching for Clem's walkie-talkie. Like, is this what the game tells me, bro? That's how he goes out? I can't believe this, bro. I, 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 I really can't fathom that this is how he goes, that this is what happens. No, bro. I can't. Who came with you? 13% chose everybody. Oh, 13% chose Omid. Wow. 6% of people chose himself. Bro, I look, I don't know what to expect, but I know that um, Lee doesn't have much time. So I thought the best option was to him to go on his own and try to figure this out, bro. You know what I'm saying? He Clem is his main responsibility, honestly. So I thought it was only should be him that's going out. So anybody else won't have to get in harm's way because of Lee. Lee ain't got much time, but he definitely got time to try to save Clem before it's too late, bro. That's just how I saw it. That's why I said he can go alone. So I'm excited to see what the next episode is going to look like with, with just Lee, bro. I'm hyped for this. Like, Lee got bit looking for Clementine. Wow. Chat. I'm lost for words, bro. This chapter was very stressful. I, that's all I can say. Like, I don't... <laughs> 
don't know what to say. This was a lie. But yo, chat. Thank y'all so much, man, for tuning in, bro. We've been streaming for almost three hours, G. Shout out to everybody that's been kicking it. Prop Doctor, bro. Thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the game, bro. This game is insane. Shout out to Purple Cat, T Sheree, Astro, Asha, Alta, Lucky Games, uh, R knows everything, Kokorichi, like thank y'all so much for pulling up and kicking it, bro, on this stream. This has been intense from start to finish. From start to finish, bro. I'm stressed out, bro. I'm I'm really tripping, bro. Look at this. I'm clicking out of the screen. Teacher, he said, "Yo, Taz, is that a new jacket? Looks cool." <laughs> yeah, this some new drip. Check out my new jacket, man. Your boy Fresh. Man, I just can't believe it, bro. I'll to say Lee gonna go out as a bad boy. Facts. I know he's gonna go out with a bang. So, you know, he, he has nobody. He, he's not rolling with nobody. So he's going to go out with a bang. He ain't got nothing to lose. He ain't got nothing to do except for save Clem. So I know for a fact Lee is going to do whatever it takes, even if it means sacrificing himself to save Clem, bro. This is going to be crazy. But look, man, thank y'all so much, man, for tuning, bro. This has been a very fire stream. Next stream is going to be popping off on Thursday. So make sure y'all pull up, fam. <laughs> And let's see how exit, exit. Let's see how episode five is going to look like. Make sure y'all hit the like button if y'all haven't already, bro. Shout out to the mods. Mods, thank y'all so much, bro. Prime Doctor, you the man, bro. This game is a banger, bro. Straight up, man. Salute to you, my boy. And y'all know what I always say. This is how Lee goes out. I can't believe it, bro. We don't say bye. We say see you later. Holla at your boy. And until next time. Peace.